These are the OnePlus Bud Z wireless. They are OnePlus's answer to the AirPods. Now I'm gonna guess that you're here for one of two reasons. One, you don't wanna spend 150 to 250 pounds on true wireless earbuds a la AirPods or AirPods Pro. You're living that Android life and you don't wanna succumb to Tim Cook's wishes just yet. Well, that's where these come in. These are the OnePlus Buds Z. We're gonna talk about them today. Now, the OnePlus Buds are very similar to AirPods. However, instead of coming in at 150 pounds, they're coming in at a staggering 55 pounds. Now, if you ask me, it's hard not to recommend that. However, there are a lot of negatives that we'll be going into. Now, for 55 pounds, the build quality on these is pretty good. Now, they're not, it's not gonna blow you away, but for 55 pounds, they're coming in this small pill-like case, very similar to the Samsung wireless earbuds of the past. However, when you start looking at the actual form factor of the actual headphone, they're not taking a leaf out of Samsung's books. They're clearly mimicking Apple, which to me is a bit of a downside. Now, I want something that doesn't look like an AirPod. I don't want people coming up to me saying, oh, nice AirPods, and then I go, oh no, they're not AirPods, and then they think they're just a ripoff of AirPods, which they're not, they're standalone. I wish that OnePlus used some of their design characteristics and actually implemented them. Now, my one gripe with the build quality is that the plastic doesn't feel that premium. Now, it's by no means feeling cheap. It doesn't feel as high quality as that of the AirPods cases and the AirPods headphones themselves. The actual earphones, as you can see, have a slight seam going down the actual body of them, which, take it or leave it, isn't that big a deal, but it is a sign of lacking build quality. However, if someone's coming up that close to you to see them in your ear and then see the seam, you should probably be asking why they're so close to you in the first place. One of the main things I do like about the design and the build is that the actual case is small enough to fit in your lighter pocket in your jeans. What has it got in its pockets? and comes with a satisfying snap when closed. Obviously being plastic, these are relatively lightweight, so aren't gonna be a nuisance when you're working out, when you're having them in for a long period of time, and you're not gonna notice them in your pockets. Also, being lighter weight means they're less likely to fall out of your pockets and then go crashing all over the floor. These headphones are more designed for active users, mostly designed to be worn in the gym or when on a run. For that reason, they've got an IP55 water resistance rating, which means that light water and sweat shouldn't damage it. However, I won't be taking them out in heavy torrential rain anytime soon. Now the OnePlus buds come in two colours at the moment, come in white, which I have here, and the Steve Harrington edition, and much like the artist's other work, very vibrant, very colourful, and very out there. Not my cup of tea, but there will be someone that likes it. How do these sound though? Yeah, they're good. The sound is pretty good for £55. Actually, the sound is exceptional for £55. They're a little bit on the bassier side, and with 10mm drivers, you're not getting, you're not getting mind-blowing audio quality. However, these weren't meant for audio files. These are simply meant for those who just want an easy solution to having music and audio on the go. You're not going to be getting Sennheiser or Bose-like quality. You're not even getting AirPod-like quality. But for £55, you're getting audio quality that is hard to beat. The audio itself is clear enough, despite being a little bit bass heavy for podcasts and audiobooks, which is primarily what I use them for. And the overall audio levels make them relatively a pleasant listening experience for long periods of time. I use these at work constantly. Now, unlike more premium models, such as the AirPods and Samsung Galaxy Buds, there isn't active noise cancellation. But with the fact that they're in-ear headphones with silicon tips, you don't necessarily need active noise cancellation. It's already kind of there. I have these in, like I said, all day at work, and I quite often do not notice that people are coming up to me and trying to talk to me. The active noise cancellation would be quite nice when you walk in the streets so you can hear traffic, and if you're just looking to block people out, you're fine. These do have an inbuilt audio microphone for taking phone calls, for recording audio. I wouldn't be getting excited about this knowing that you could be using them for podcasts and maybe video recording, but for the sake of taking a phone call, they more than get the job done. How do they fit? Pretty good, can't complain. Now with the adaptive silicon earbuds, you can really get a good snug fit depending on your ear size. I typically prefer the in-ear design because typically AirPods, they just would fall out my ear. But with these, I've worn them to the gym multiple times and they don't fall out. Cue vigorous head shaking. <laughs> When you're wanting to wear these for a long period of time, you're quite often wondering, what's the battery life like? The battery life is excellent. And what I mean by that is, I have never had these die on me. I've never noticed that I've needed to charge them. Now, OnePlus quotes that 10 minutes of charging will give you the equivalent of three hours of playtime. Now, it doesn't specify whether that's 10 minutes of charging the case or whether it's 10 minutes of the actual earbuds charging in the case. But any specific features that these headphones do have is fairly limited. They have touch support, but you're limited to a double tap on each headphone. But you 
you can customise it somewhat. You can set each earphone to be an individual command. I just set them to double tap for skip. This can actually be changed in the Bluetooth settings for the OnePlus Buds set themselves. Now, if you're using a OnePlus device, in particular a OnePlus 7 or above, you do get an exclusive feature for these, which is Dolby Atmos, which, you know, ultimate win. And let's be real, most of the people who'll be buying these probably already own a OnePlus device, which means that is an absolute win. Unfortunately, there is no EQ adjustment available. Apparently, there was a Melody app which would allow for customization of the equalizers. Now, upon downloading it in the Google Play Store and actually trying to use it on this device, it said that it didn't support OnePlus devices. However, in the user manual, it clearly tells you to go towards that app. So I don't know what's going on there. To go along with this, that app is also not available on the Apple App Store. Let's be real. If you've got an iPhone, you're probably not in the market for these anyway. I have found every now and again that the touch sensitive controls are somewhat temperamental. I mostly notice that when you're double tapping, sometimes it doesn't register it. But this is normally only when I'm using one earphone at a time. And one's in my ear and one is in the case. So this could be the reason why. I'm not expecting for £55 the absolute best software support. At the end of the day though, these are true wireless earbuds with both touch sensitivity and NFC support. So how are we pairing these? If it's your first time, all you have to do is turn on your Bluetooth on your device, simply open up the case and it will automatically register that you want to pair them to your device. Just simply click pair and you should be good to go. For phones that do not have NFC support, you can pair them just like any other Bluetooth device. Go into your Bluetooth settings, then hit this little white button on the back of the case which acts as the pairing signal and simply connect as you normally would. So, what's in the box? What's in the box? A USB-C, a warranty guide, a welcome book, and some earbuds. No stickers. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there are some negatives. Like I've already said, they, there is some connectivity and touch issues when you're only using one earpod at a time. Also, I've noticed some connection issues when using one at a time. Again, £55. Bear in mind, these aren't meant to be top of the line. These are definitely entry-level or budget options. As also I've previously mentioned, there's no active noise cancellation, but for £55 you shouldn't really be expecting that in the first place. For most studio or pro level headphones, this is normally an added bonus feature in more premium level earbuds. One of my main issues I've had with the OnePlus Bud Z though, is when listening to music or podcasts or audiobooks, sometimes they have the tendency to pause what I'm listening to, which can be frustrating. This happens once every so often and for the money, I'm happy to accept that these won't be perfect. And as far as they go, these are incredibly good for budget. Now, would I recommend these? Yeah, I've recommended these to a lot of people who don't even have a OnePlus device. For me, they fit the bar. I didn't want to be spending £150 on premium earbuds, mostly because I thought I'd probably lose them. However, after buying these, I've recommended these to a lot of people. I use them every day, and I don't see myself going back to wired headphones anytime soon, and I'm really not looking to upgrade to a more premium version. Aside from that, these fit the bill. If you're in the market for a relatively cost-effective pair of earbuds, then you don't really need to look any further than these. These can be bought directly from the OnePlus website, for £55 they're a steal. Maybe think of giving it a like and subscribe. It will help the channel, maybe, who knows. But apart from that, maybe I'll see you in the next one.